Next topic that I want to discuss yeah. is what's going on with Elon Musk. Quick topic. Elon. So he's vowed to kill what he calls the woke mind virus. He did an uh, interview with Jordan Peterson. Not sure if you saw this. And so people are saying, listen, this yeah. guy's got all the money in the world, all the clout in the world. He owns X Twitter now. He can do whatever he wants. And the number one thing on his agenda is destroying the woke mind virus. So I think we have a clip from what he did with Jordan Peterson. We played that. But then... There's a response. Do you have that, Troy? Here we go. Go, Troy. Mm-hmm. Into uh, signing documents uh, for one of my older boys, Xavier. This is before I had really any understanding of what was going on. And the, we had COVID going on, and so uh, there was a lot of confusion. They call it dead naming for a reason. Yeah, I. All right. I'm, so they, the reason it's called dead naming is because your son is dead. Oh. So my son Xavier is dead. <coughs> Killed by the woke mind virus. So I vowed to destroy it. So he says, he says, my son is dead, dead. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty statement. powerful statement right there. Then there's some throwbacks right here. If you go to the top of the post, mm-hmm. he basically says, um, even though Elon the, Musk was super busy, he was still made time for his, family. this is him with his, oh. his kids. The, 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 doesn't he say something about all yeah. my five boys are happy? Super happy. Yes. Okay. Well, that so can cut him off. Exactly. So here's a video. You can play it real quick. <laughs> Him being interviewed, the five boys, there's one of the boys. <laughs> so, we'll be right back. That was worth coming in. No, this was his first wife that he had five boys with, Justine. Now, the, the son that he mentioned that is dead named, and this is what I want to get you guys uh, input on, was named Xavier. Okay. The son's name was Xavier. He basically, when did he tweet that? He tweeted that on August 4th. Of what year? Uh, I think this year. He just did this. Yeah. yeah. He's basically saying, I remember a time when all my five boys were happy. Okay. To which his former son, well, son, formerly named Xavier, dead named, Mm -hmm. uh, now called Vivian, said basically, shut up, dad. (laughs) And he says, Elon Musk's daughter, Vivian, calls him absolutely Mm -hmm. pathetic and a serial adulterer. adulterer. Now, that's her now. Uh-huh. She's probably 18, I'm assuming, give or take. Um, we have her response to what he says about basically my son's dead, has been dead named. This is serious stuff. This is life yeah, and death and kids and everything. Right. So go to basically about 40 seconds in Troy. You can talk. Where is the where she starts to give a quote? Mm, right, right there. there. Um can you punch in exactly on the quote or even play it and maybe we can hear her words? Zoom in on the computer. Troy, oh, talk. <laughs> can you punch in? Right there. I can okay. read it. Go ahead. It says, look, I don't know if I genuinely believe this or not. If you live in your own delusional fantasy land and frankly, I don't care. It seems to me like you are trying to rebuild your brand image as the caring paternal father, which I will not let go unchallenged. I, if I'm going to be honest, this is absolutely. Oh, oh no! Wow! Oh. I'm that was like thunder and lightning. I'm scared. Okay. If I'm that going to be happened. honest, this is absolutely pathetic. You won't stop lying about me in interviews, books, social media, etc. Thank God you're absolutely terrible at it because otherwise this would be significantly more difficult. Okay, there's one more quote. I'm not sure if it's before this or after this, Troy, but I know you're good. No, 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 no. It's on that video. Uh huh. Just expand it, please. Uh, yeah, um, and just go it. 10 seconds before this quote. She's before pretty it. Mm-hmm. Keep She's going. Cute. No, no. Keep going. 10 seconds. Troy, not backwards, forwards. Well, you said back. <laughs> um, this oh, part. Right here. Yeah. I understand yeah. your new angel is the Western. Oh, <laughs> your new angle Punch is in. the Western values Christian family man thing. But this is such a weird choice. You are not a family man. You are a serial adulterer who won't stop <coughs> blank, blank, <coughs> lying about your own children. You're not a Christian, as far as I'm aware. You've stepped foot in a church. You've never stepped. You never stepped foot in a church. You are not some. Um, what is that? Bastion, Bastion of equality and, and progress. You called Arabic the language of the enemy when I was six and have been sued for discrimination oh, multiple shit. times and are from. Uh, what is that? Apartheid, Apartheid South, Africa. South okay. Africa. So, guys, here's my question: uh, Red or green? I'm scared. And I really want to get your guys' consideration here. On. Based on what you're hearing, are mm-hmm. and are you on Team Elon? You know, I'm I'm trying to go after the woke mind virus. They kid my son. 
the the the, the dead named, or you're on Team Xavier uh, slash Vivian. That's like, yo, I'm gonna do what the hell I want to do. Leave me alone. So green Elon, red Xavier. And I know this isn't like I'm not on either team, but who are you more empathetic towards? That's my question. It's Vivian, by the way. Such okay, Vivian. Pull up. So you're on team Elon. You you're on more Vivian. No, Elon, 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 Vivian. Vivian. I really don't know. Okay. So the fact that I called the son Xavier, mm -hmm. because I'm just reading it, but it's actually Vivian. Mm -hmm. The whole dead naming concept. Walk me through this. Because in my assumption, if I'm a father and I name my son Xavier and now he's like, no, I'm a girl now and it's Vivian. I'd have a hard time as a dad being like, well, what do you mean? Like, you're yeah. my son. Like, well, but I also understand that you have feelings and rights and everything. So generally <laughs> walk us through this. Okay. Well, first of all, um, I think as a parent, it's a big mistake. It's dangerous to your child mm. to be speaking about your kid like that okay yeah. because people actually thought that elon musk's kid died like people were like oh like he had a son that died like yeah. was killed. he actually did have a like, different son that died no, I'm right saying, after like, birth like, literally Correct. Died. There, no there was one yeah. that did die this was dead named just to be clear i know but okay. after this article came out i had yes. conversations with other people that were like oh yeah like this person died like literally died like yes whatever and so i just think it's irresponsible as a parent to put like, this kid's a minor you know just to put that business out there and have all this attention and all this responsibility put on a little kid's shoulders, in my opinion, a little kid's shoulders. Yeah. And, um, you know, I have parents. I was the only child in my mom and dad's relationship. So I had to deal with things like that, of course, as a parent. Even me now, like if I were to have a kid right now mm -hmm. and that person wanted to transition, I'd probably have a very hard time with that. Because oh. when you have a kid, you have intentions for your kid. You want you know, to raise your kid a certain way. You have this dream of your kid to to live, you know, to to see happen, you know, like you want to mm -hmm. see your kid graduate, get married the whole nine yards. And so I get it and I can feel his pain, yeah. but I think he needs to deal with that privately before putting your underage child in danger because that's dangerous. So if I'm hearing what you're saying, you're empathetic towards how he feels. As a dad, yeah. But Elon... Sure. Shut it up. Irresponsible. Take care okay. of your kid. Mm. You know, be there for your kid. And um, I think it's up to the parents to actually sign off for the transition. I have a question it's for you. Like you. It's a personal it. question. Mm -hmm. Feel free to say I don't feel comfortable. Yeah. Can you have a baby? No. As a trans woman? You cannot have a baby? No. Okay. No. I mean, people were talking about having a uterus yeah, right. transplant. Oh, girl, I, I come on. I get real. I would never do that. Well, uh, explain. I don't know. I As a trans woman, can you have a baby? No, babe. Okay, so, all right. When, to so just to walk you a little bit through the process of what it is to transition. Walk me through this thing. All right, I went, I finally, you know, I got, all right, I'm going to do this. I talked to my dad. See, like, the, it's, it's sad because my relationship with my father, from when I came out to him as gay, he kicked me out. Mm. When I came to him and I told him, hey, daddy, so I'm trans. Mm -hmm. And he's like, okay, this is the stereotypical Cuban father. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said, see, this I understand. See oh. this, I can. Get so he behind. didn't understand that you were the gay, a gay thing, man. The gay thing, he really? did not. Oh yeah, what are you talking it? about? Like, how are you gonna be gay in my house? Like, oh my god, where yeah, you go? yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I know when that I came to him and I told him, okay, dad. So like, I like, I'm coming out to you. I'm coming out of the closet again. And yeah. so like, he's like, okay, what? It, he's like, well, look, and I told him, I'm, dad, I'm trans. So yeah. he's like, he's like, okay, see this, I can understand. Yeah, huh. when initially when I told him, he, he's like, oh, okay, cool. And then we sat down and had like the conversation, conversation as far as like. All right, dad, like the only opinion in my family I cared about was my father's. Mm -hmm. And then like he gave me his blessing. He gave me green light. Yeah. And then I'm like, OK, dad, now you and I have to be a united front, because if you don't if you don't stand ten toes down on this, wow. no one in our family is going to take us. It's going to take us serious. So mm -hmm. what's your relationship with your father? My now? father's my my father is everything for me my dad's my hero oh, wow. so like i don't have... so he kicked you out of the house he did how long 18. ago i when i was 18 at the stroke of what was that on my conversation birthday, like he, he told me i don't want a faggot for a son you need to figure up. it out wow. that was yes wow wow so like that was like and then that, and now, then now at 28 my, my your photo best shoot, friend. photo shoots that i've done he yeah. puts me on the screen with his phone he brings oh, me around wow. his macho ass homeboys and but says, this I, is my can daughter. I, can I be honest with you? Carolina. And God forbid someone says anything. My dad will chew them up. He's taking me out on daddy-daughter dates. He set, the, he set the tone for what it is that, like, how men should treat me, yeah. how, like, all but of this. What was so, the like, difference? Because that's very two different See, he extremes. told me, my dad, like, um, 
to not go too much and like spill my dad's tea, like my dad, like I said, like super, like um, super macho ass dude. He told me, he's like, I had like gay homeboys coming up, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And like I, he was in jail for like eight years and he's obviously jail Shut. culture is, you, yeah. you know what that is, you know what it gives. So like he said, I had homeboys in, the, I had homeboys in the paint that were like, they were gay, but like to be and in Spanish, like, like to be gay, you don't have to be so flamboyant. And like he's mm. like, when I would see you, I toughened you up and I made you like who you are now oh. because I didn't know what was gonna come out of this. Yeah. So I wanted to make sure that you're strong and you could handle your own. So like when I told him that I'm trans, he's like, see, this makes sense to me because I never saw you as a man. Like oh. you've always been so feminine, your demeanor, Damn. the way that you would come into oh. the situation. I I always knew that this was what was gonna be. I just wanted to give you the space for you to figure it out. Oh. You know what I mean? So like, wow. yeah, like my like my, I don't have that. I don't. I can, I'm lucky mm -hmm. compared to some of my friends that their father's not in their life at all. Like right. my dad is like. So amazing. if your last point right here, um, yeah. if so, what your relationship is with your dad is incredible. He kicks you out. You come back. Like yeah, we thought about. It. Listen, if I'm honest with you, a lot of the issues that me and him had, it wasn't even about the gay thing. Like when me and him sat there, yeah. like. And I started unpacking it and I took him out. I always tell like LGBT youth, like I'm not this, at this point looking to the camera. Yeah. yeah. Guys out there, like all the like all the cute little little caros out there, all the little Carmens, I promise you, it, the day that you take your parents off of the pedestal of mom and dad and you just see them for in my example as Jose and Noria, and you demystify it, and you just see them as a person, you're gonna realize that your parents are human beings with unresolved yeah. trauma just like you mm -hmm. so if you don't sit there and take the time to actually unpack all of these things unpack hey you did and hold your parents accountable at the end of the day being being gay or being trans like that already kids themselves like rather if they're straight gay whatever it is children don't come with a handbook like your parents are doing the best that they can like you know so when i sat there with him and i started unpacking everything we started realizing that it was just things that his dad had did to him or mm -hmm. like certain things that like he just didn't, he tried his best. Like mm -hmm. I have the woman I am today, I would not trade my father for the world. Mm -hmm. He has like given me the tools that I need to be able to survive this. Mm -hmm. Like I've gotten fired from jobs because I'm trans. I've got, there have been opportunities that I haven't been able to have because I'm trans. Like, well, I'll tell you this before, things, before so, like, we move on. Mm -hmm. What you're saying, we say this all the time, and, and hopefully Elon Musk... My dad's Musk, my hero, babe. Hopefully so Elon I wish, Musk... I'm, it's sad that Vivian doesn't have that relationship with her father. And well, this is what... No, there's is an side. Hold on, guys, because we got we have like 20 minutes left. Um, what you're going through is what all parents and their kids need to go through, and we talk yeah. about all the time. Yeah, it's PVD. not the gay thing or trans. It it's doesn't matter. It's the fact that when you're young, you idolize your parents. Yeah. And then as you get older, yeah. you villainize your parents. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. as you get older and older and you become a parent yourself, you grow up, you, you humanize realize. your parents. And that's exactly what's happening here. So eventually, it's just the family Elon drama Musk, that they need to. The kid, the idolized. I love my kids. I love my dad. Then it's villainizing. I hate you, dad. I hate you, dad. Yeah. Eventually, they're gonna have a come to Jesus moment. It's like you know what? You're my kid. You're my spawn. But... That's what my dad so told we'll me. So we'll see if that happens with Elon Musk. There we go. Are you coming to the vault? Oh, what's the vault? You know about the vault? The vault is the ultimate event for entrepreneurs to level up their game and learn from the best in the game. Last year, we had Tom Brady and Mike Tyson, and I said to our CEO, Patrick Bet David, I said, how are we gonna top that? He said, how are we gonna top that? How about The Rock? So this year, Patrick Bet David went out and got Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So he's gonna be there along with PBD, The Biz Doc, and me. Yeah, if you wanna join us at The Vault Conference, check out thevaultconference.com. It's going down in West Palm Beach, September 4th through 7th. If you want to make more money, improve your business, and expand your network, you have to be at The Vault. We'll see you there. Oh, you like that? Well, if you want to see more of that, check out this clip right here. And if you want even more, check out this clip right here, only on the Southcast.